It's the final day of the Call of Duty Championship. We started with 32 teams, but by this morning we were down to three, and Farco Impact beat Optic Gaming to take their place in the final with Envious. The semi-final match was as tense as ever, and afterwards we caught up with both teams to see how they felt about it. Okay, I'm here with Joe and Will from Optic Gaming, who just lost out a match against Farico Impact to take third place in the tournament. Now guys, saw you in the press conference, you look really disappointed, but you did an awesome job. How do you feel? Um, I mean, you know, we placed top three. It's, you know, what we were expected to do. Uh, but obviously losing when we, we have a lot of pressure on us. Our organization is a big organization. So not only do we let ourselves down, we let our fans down. And that's like the worst part is going home and just seeing you guys did so well, but you didn't get there. So we just have to work harder, and that's what we're going to do. I mean, it started off with hard point in Yemen. It was neck and neck until the end. I mean, that was exciting. And then uh, the second one was search and destroy. There was a, two, a 2v1 clutch, which was pretty intense. How was that for you guys? Uh, I mean, I, was, I wasn't in the 2v1. I was yeah. spectating. But just watching it, it was, it was yeah. I was just disappointed. I was just like, dang. Because before that, I clutched like three rounds in a row, and I put my team in that situation. And just to see it kind of taken away it kind of sucked so <laughs> yeah like he said it was really disappointed without Joe we wouldn't have I think it was like three rounds he clutched so we wouldn't have been in that situation if it wasn't for him anyway I think it was myself and Nate shot maybe we just ran around too much we don't know like and it's, it's really hard to say um, I'm sure when we go back and watch over the film we'll see what happened exactly but you know we'll get it next time uh, I felt amazing I just kind of I, I saw one of the guys right before I missed the sniper rifle bullet I mean I, I, I choked my shot I knew how to make up for it, so I kind of just rotated around and tried to catch a player off guard, and I did, and then I just out the other player. I, I, I had a feeling they were gonna be close together. I mean, that's what you want to do in a 2v1 situation. You want to be as close so that you can pick up each other's back after one of you dies. And I knew he was going to be there, and he jumped the corner. He could have killed me. I didn't have toughness on, so if he would have shot me with a bullet, my, my gun would have jumped everywhere, and I would have been screwed. But he missed, <laughs> and I got the kill, so I was pretty happy, not going to lie. Earlier in the week, we caught up with Farco Gaming's owner, Alex, a.k.a. Brainiac, to find out his philosophy on eSports. What do you think the, the, the appeal is with Call of Duty? I mean, what is it that makes Call of Duty players so passionate about what they're doing? Well, I can... Uh, um, it's also... It's, it's a bit philosophical, but uh, the thing is with the, with the logo, it's also about uh, modern communication, but based on old values. You have to keep in mind that uh, our psychology is being developed uh, 100,000 years ago, and when we were uh, hunting uh, and uh, running uh, around. Keep in mind that uh, when you go into a game like uh, Call of Duty, those uh, uh, instincts, those, those those tribal uh, feelings, they come, in, they kick in. And that's, that's one of the main parts that makes it so interesting uh, to do. Um. The Call of Duty Championship 2013 literally went down to the wire, but it was our favorite, Sparco Impact, who went on to take the victory. We spoke to them and amazing runners up, Envious, to see how they all felt about it. So I'm here with Envious, who just placed second in the Call of Duty Championship. I mean, if there was ever proof needed that this wasn't about the money, it was your guys' faces. I mean, you just won 200,000, but you're, you're still pretty gutted, right? Yes, exactly. I mean, obviously, Frico, you know, they're a good team. They won. You know, congrats to them. They played amazing. But, you know, we wanted that win more than the money, more than everything else. Just beating them would have been, that have been satisfying for us. So I am standing with the Call of Duty Championship winners 2013, Farco Impact. Guys, how do you feel? Oh, uh, pretty awesome. I don't think it's really kicked in yet, but it's pretty awesome. Amazing. We won three in a row. This, is a, this was the goal. We accomplished the goal, and now we're just going to enjoy life. Amazing. I got the three-peat. I'm ready for the four. Well, I mean... I just want to get back and shower. I think when I when I sit there and have time to think, I'll probably it'll probably kick in. As of now, I've just been I've been talking away doing so many interviews. So. Well, final question: What are you going to do with the prize money? I'm buying gold-plated underwear. <laughs> Where are you going to wear it? That's for you to find out. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, <laughs> Call of Duty 2013 champions Fargo Impact. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.